All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 to a player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. He's got the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. Lifts on that offering. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Nice. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Big kick land. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real quick leg kick. Lands the right hand. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Knees, knees, knees. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Misses with the left hook. Went for the inside leg kick. Good punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Punch to the body is blocked. Big kick lands. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Hey, take that shot, take the shot. That was just a nice fight. Back and forth we go. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, big shot man. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Unable to connect there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Short. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh! Both guys landing with conviction now. And there comes the separation now. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, that's a nice strike. And that one certainly found the target. Bone on 
on Bone as the head kick lands flush. He better. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and for me, the big storyline in the previous round, just the head movement, shades of Tony Ferguson rolling with punches, the ability to slow everything down, and you gotta think that has frustrated his opponent. On a number of occasions, he made his opponent look silly. Yeah. Because he's overextending him. He's heavy on his front foot, because the moment he goes to throw, he's throwing at range, opponent slips, now he's out of position. Watch for a counter left hook the next time he get his opponent that off balance. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Right punches there. Big left hook coming, it's Brooks. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Circling towards the left. It up on the right there to no avail. Straight punch land. Choice knee strike here is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. And that left hook landed on the button. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knock. Ooh, what a punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Choi. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. Time the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And he caught the kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Joy's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. Right hand landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful punch. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Joy's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Big kick lands. You got to check these low leg kicks. 
connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Some nice back and forth action here. Punch to the body is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Just out of range with that strike. Final seconds here of round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Choi's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. There by the Korean Super Bowl. Way to hide that leg kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Ooh, wee, what a right hand by this young man. Leg Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Choi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong thought of work here, staying busy. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Big body kick. Now they're both throwing with power. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Nice head kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Good stick.
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Now a kick to the ball. the takedown, no problem. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. Got the single collar tie. So oh, nice. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Seconds to go in this one. Plus right hand is true. Just out of range with the big right hand. 15 seconds. Beautiful strike. Final seconds of round three. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body. Alright, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly. Next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connection. Oh. didn't like that left hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, box class, hands up, chin down. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous Oh! Oh! He's right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. Oh! Very effective. Vicious combo there. Dude's hurt. Serve oh! him up. Go get him. That's how you do it. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Under three minutes remain in round four. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 11 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete.